song. Ring ting a ling, ting ling a ling. Hey, this video will show you how to make a jack o' lantern for Halloween. Uh, I, I got this pumpkin from my grandpa's secret garden. He usually doesn't let me uh use his pumpkins, but. He's out of town this year, so I'm gonna get up to some risky business. Da 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 da. Put the thing on the fucking shelf. Okay, first of all, you wanna roll over the pumpkin to get onto the top of its pumpkin skull. What we're gonna do is basically like scalp the pumpkin to scoop out its pumpkin brains. We're gonna cut off the top of his skull and scoop out his brains! Man, my hands are really kinda getting wet. I think, I think the pumpkin is crying. He knows what's coming. I'm sorry, pumpkin, but you know the deal. Now, to perform the procedure of slicing into the pumpkin skull, we are going to need my trusty snitch blade. Okay, so let's get slicing and dicing. Oh, slice and dice, pumpkin! Okay, it looks like my snitch blade does not seem to be working too well on this pumpkin skin. I guess that proves that pumpkins are not snitches, and therefore they will not be receiving any switches. Okay, I found this other knife. Maybe uh, this one will cut a little better than the snitch blade. Let's try it out. Okay, fuck it. I'll just, uh, I'll just go break into my grandpa's uh, knife cabinet. Okay, I'm back. Let's see. Let's see you get out of this one, pumpkin. Oh! Okay. As you see, the knife uh, pierces the pumpkin's skin very easily. So, uh, as you can see, I cut around the pumpkin in a clockwise motion. So now we should be able to remove the top piece of the skull. Get out of there, skull piece. Yeah, there's some of those brains coming out. Next, you're gonna wanna start scooping at the brains. That's an important part of the jack-o'-lantern process. Because once the brains are removed, the, uh, the pumpkin will not feel any more pain. Hence the saying, no pumpkin pains, no pumpkin... No, wait, hence the saying, no pumpkin brains, no pumpkin pains. I fucked up the saying the first time because I'm just like, I'm getting high off all of these pumpkin fumes coming out. So yeah, there's a lot of pumpkin brains in here, just keep scooping. Just be like, scoop, scoop it, doop, scoop it, doop it, doop it. Here I go, here I go, here I scoop again. I'm, uh, you notice I'm saving a lot of these pumpkin brains because uh, you can eat them later on and, and you can kind of gain some of the ancient knowledge of the pumpkin peoples. So yeah, that pretty much takes care of the pumpkin brains. So now I just flip it over. Now we just gotta get that pumpkin face on there. So you can read my pumpkin face. So uh, just draw in kind of the eyeball area. If you'll notice ink, uh, it doesn't work too well on pumpkin skin. You don't have to be too neat, like, I'm usually I'm kind of a perf perfectionist, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna be cutting this mouth hole open anyway, so fuck it. Okay, that's good enough, whatever. So now, let's just open up that pumpkin mouth! Oh! So yeah, I'm just uh, widening up that pumpkin mouth. Look at him, looks like he's sucking on a hammer. I've done that before. And then you can just kind of make it a little more neater with the knife, like so. So just take out that shit, and once we remove that, we will have our nice, sexy mouth hole. You know, the, uh, the origin of the jack-o'-lantern actually originates from the great country of Ireland, where everybody has an O and an apostrophe in their name. The, the jack-o'-lantern, you know, it actually comes from a little Irish ditty, which goes Something like this. Oh, my little Irish pumpkin across the Irish sea. Me mother gave me a pumpkin. So I finished off both those eye holes. And now our jack-o'-lantern is looking real good and spooky. All I gotta do is add some fire to inside of its skull. 
then its eyeballs and its mouth balls will glow all across the lands. So I just gotta find a big box of matches and just like throw the whole box in there and light it, I think. Oh, did you hear that? That was my telephone. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, you guys. That was a message from my grandpa. He said he's gonna be home any minute and he 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 really wants to eat that giant pumpkin that had been saving all year. I got I've, oh, oh my god, you guys. I've got to repair this pumpkin before he gets home or I am gonna be in some serious business. Da, 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 da. Okay, fortunately I still have the pumpkin pieces. Uh, where does this one go? I think it goes here. So this piece must fit in this gap here. Okay, I filled up the pumpkin mouth. Now for the eye holes. Oh my god, this is the only piece left, but that only fits in one eye hole. What do I do about this other one? Oh, this always happens. I'm so sorry, Jack-O-Lantern. I cannot put you back how you were. I can't fix you to how you used to be. You're gonna be a one-eyed freak-o-lantern from this day forward. Oh, I, got, I have an idea, Jack-O-Lantern. Here, put this on. Cover up your shame. Cover up your pumpkin shame! It's all gonna be okay, Jack-O-Lantern. Nobody can see your disgusting pumpkin hole anymore. Oh, except for this one up here. That's pretty gross.